Mander FPV, thanks for five Australian dollars. What's the advantage of Express LRS over Crossfire if there is any? Oh man, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this, right? Can we not? It's a super chat. And can can you also, hey, okay, every all the TBS fans, all the TBS people, he asked, they asked. What's the advantage of Express LRS if there is any? So when I answer this question and I only say good things about Express LRS, it's not because I'm biased or hate Crossfire. It's because he asked, what are the advantages? He didn't ask for a balanced take. Follow me? What are the advantages of Express LRS over Crossfire? Um, much lower latency, packet rates up to 1000 Hertz, um, smaller antennas, a wider variety of hardware. Uh, if, if a happy model express LRS receiver is out of stock, you could, you could buy a, a jumper or a radio master and you could still get what you need to get in the air. Uh, faster development, uh, the, ex as of the last year and a half, let's say, uh, Express LRS has been just blazing fast development. They've come out with things like packet modes where they send each packet twice so you get more reliable. They got a packet mode where you send each packet four times so you get an even more reliable link. It's at the expense of range, but they you, you get the trade-off there. They've released all kinds of features. Crossfire development has been relatively stagnant. You can just look at the release notes. There have been some bug fixes. There have been some firmware releases. They, they recently released a firmware and they have military grade encryption, which usually means 256 bit AES encryption. Okay. That's, that's cool. Somewhere out there, there's someone who really, really wanted encryption on their crossfire link. I assume that's why, I assume that's why TBS did it. When I see TBS out of the blue release that they've got military grade encryption that no hobbyist has ever cared about or asked for, I assume that someone that, that they got a contract from someone who wanted military and they bought like, you know, a thousand receivers or something, but they had to have military grade encryption. I can't imagine why they would have put their development resources into that, but you know, whatever, I don't run TBS. So Express LRS definitely is, is faster moving in terms of its development, at least in the last year and a half, smaller antennas, wider variety of hardware. Those are some of the things that make people choose uh, Express LRS over Crossfire.